everyone welcome back it's been a while yeah it's been a minute october was the last one I yes so. oof sorry guys you know november holidays went on vacation well not really vacation went to visit my sister came back then they came back with us so it's been busy 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 it's been hectic but we are hectic. back and we're happy to show you two boxes today oh yeah and the boxes. Oh, yeah. A little decor here for the holidays, you know, trying to make a little festivities. You know, it's two more days for Christmas. I know. Excited. All right. So let's see. So we got two boxes. We have two boxes. We have November box and December box. We're going to start with the November one. Oh, I have you. Second here. You wanna? I think I have a knife somewhere. I have my knife. I got it. I got it. Got it. All right. Let's see, guys. What we got for November? <sighs> so, all righty, ready? What are we getting? Ooh, one of the spots. Japan. It's just one of the spots I want to go to. Travel? So bad. Yes. All right. So okay. bad. Oh, this box is different than the other ones. Well, it's like a box inside of a box. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, this is super nice. Okay, like I mentioned before, they give you like a little demographics, um, fun facts about Japan. Even like a little recipe here too as well. Yes. How to make Udon noodles. Ooh. Ooh. So now this is, most of us are home. This could be a, like a dinner idea so you can try it out. And then on the bottom here, it gives you like what the box, like probably what the box brings. Sometimes it gives you all of them. Yes. Sometimes it gives you some, but at least it gives you a little information on it. I think the one over there is what um it actually what comes oh. inside the box. My bad. See? We lost our little yeah. track here from <laughs> two months ago. <laughs> um, there's also ooh, a fun trivia and a cross, not a crossword puzzle. Uh, what? Oh, uh, Sudoku. a word find. Is that Sudoku? It's a word find. Sudoku. Sudoku. Whatever. Sudoku. They're both puzzle. All right. So here it is, guys. November box is Japan. Was Japan. Japan. All right, we're ready for this. Oh, mm -hmm. so the first one here. I think it's this is like, it's like a taco in a bag. The Japanese taco. Look at that. Hey, read what it is. Oh. It literally is. I think the taco in a bag. I was, is it this? No, this one. So I don't know how do you say that? Kokeyan. Kokeya. Don tacos. It's a Japanese spin on Mexican Ooh. cuisine. These crunchy corn tortilla chips have unique, tangy, and savory flavor, boosting hints of fresh salsa. They do smell like tacos. <laughs> it's like a Dorito. So, see? Little Dorito. Dorito you. Ready? We got our water this time, guys. We do. We finally made it to the water on month three and four. No. Right, Driven this way. Oh, I like it. Ooh. It does have that like the salsa. It definitely kicks in. I think there's a Dorito salsa. What? Or a Dorito like this. That's like salsa. Wow, this is literally like eating a taco on a chip. I know. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Okay. I need another one. <laughs> I'll make a big one too. All right. Ooh, let me tell you what we got. A lot of candy in this box, guys. Uh, All right, if that one says sours. This so hard. this is definitely candy. Come, 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 sour. Come, come, sour. It's like almost by Dragon Ball Z, come, come, hot type of thing, but. <laughs> Kame Kame. Kame Kame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Inspired by delicious Japanese 
rum and soda. This hard but chewy gummy candy has a delightful punchy sourceness followed by a freezy sweetness. Oh, you can't buy anything. You can. Give me, give me. Is it sour though? Tastes like bubble gum. Like turtle too. Are they all different? No, they're all turtle. I'm a little turtle. turtle. Oh no, you can't really buy into this. Woo. Hmm. Oh no, they're interesting. It's not a sour. No, not really. It is. Well, it is kind of. After you like try to bite into it. Mm -hmm. It does taste like a soda. Yes. Grape, like grape, mm -hmm. right? Grape soda. Or raspberry. I think grape. More like grape. These are not bad neither. Neither. All right. Next, you want to read one and you do one? Oh, here. Which one do you know? Mm -hmm. You already know. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. They have it's two. It's a mini Kit Kat. They have two different ones. I'm guessing one is might be vanilla, the okay. other one is dark chocolate. One set it says, unlike their U.S. counterpart, Kit Kats in Japan are offered in over 300 unique flavors. Wow. We've included a sampling of our favorites. What? Can you grab that Ooh, one? I don't know. This looks like this is strawberry, right? That's what I mean. So I think strawberry. strawberry and this might be dark chocolate or regular chocolate. Mm -hmm. This looks green, dark green, so it might be. Seaweed? <laughs> Seaweed? I know they're, they're known. It's actually green. They're known for their weird. Look, guys, here. For their weird. When you break it in half, I don't think for them. <laughs> it's matcha. Do not like this one. Mm -mm. It has a weird aftertaste. It's matcha. <laughs> what the hell is matcha? It's a green um, powder. It's supposed to be really good for you. Mm. Do not like that one. You did not like that one here. Then open the strawberry one if it's really strawberry. No, I'm not gonna bang what They set us up with the first one. <laughs> um. Trying to go difficulty over here. You thought it was chocolate because it's dark, but it's a dark green. Yeah. Oh, I wish you had like, you should told us which one they gave us. This has to be strawberry. It's pink, guys, and it has little dots, so it's definitely strawberry. Who knows? Oh yeah, I smell it. Mmm. How sourness into it. Whoa. Wow. What is that? I think it's raspberry. Mm. Or I don't know. It has to be strawberry. Well, I think I'm going to have to look this up. What it says. It doesn't tell us. It's just that they gave us two of the most favorite ones. How many of these did they have? 300 unique flavors. Damn. 300. Can you imagine that? This was good. Glad we tasted that first, and then we went with this one. Yeah, did not like the first one. All right, pick another one, then. Okay, I like this funny looking ones, but I'm going for this one. It's like almost like a cup of bubblegum. It's maybe. called High Chew Grape. Known for having the perfect balance of fruitness, juiciness, and creaminess, this popular item quickly became the best-selling candy in Japan. And I'm, well, my why well, might need a freaking knife. Oh, come on, I have no nails. What do you mean, nails? Because you're opening it the wrong way. What do you mean? That's exactly what I did on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that yeah, exactly. Hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of looking at it. So. Guys, look, it, it has an opener thingy, it has a little thing <laughs> where you can open like they do with the gum. You go, sir. Well, thank you. <laughs> it looks like gum, like yeah, bubblicious. Little piece of bubblicious. That also pizza. 
Oh my god. Sopita is like a, a Spanish. Spanish. It's like a bouillon cubes. That's what he thinks. Oh, it's not affecting the texture. It, it, it says it right here. Chewy. Yeah, but it's like a hard chewy. Mm. Right? It's like a... I wouldn't consider this station to be chewy. It's not like... What is it? The star... Starburst? Starburst. Star... What's Starburst? Starbucks is coffee. I know that. The Starburst is not as chewy as that, but it does have a good, like a nice texture. Mm. Mm. Kind of like gum, but it's not. Like when you first bite to a bubble dishes. Mm. Yes. Oh, these are good. Not a big premise of the texture, though. Mm. Not it's <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, just the texture. I don't like it. All right. I like it. It doesn't stick to your teeth, though. Mmm. Mm. See? Love it. So it's a good chewy kind of candy. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys. What else? Let's see. Come on, babe. What is this thing? That one? Mm -hmm. That one is, let's make it apple candy. Ooh. So this interactive treat you make it has everything you need to create your very own gummy version of the ever popular candy apple. I love candy apple. Well, I mean, that thing is gonna be a mess if you make your own. Well, come on. All right. Well, what are you making? Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, we're not making that now, though, but no. So. <laughs> like, where's the stick? <laughs> okay. All right, guys, look. I don't know if you can see it. So it brings the apple, mm -hmm. a little topping, and then the gel, which is like it's the candy part of so the it's apple. It's like the caramel, I think. Isn't uh, it caramel? Yeah. Yep. What do you mean we're not doing We're definitely doing this right Come now. Come on. I'm not gonna turn to your couch, you're fine. Yes, don't dirty my couch, please. Okay. You don't have to dip the whole thing, you just have to like dip the oh, so it has it has two sides to it then. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wait, how does it go? Does it even show? Oh, so it goes this part first. A little twirl, twirl again. I'm just gonna twirl it. I guess I should stick it more. Yeah, there. stick it more. Cause it should be one. All right, let's do some little. T what does the what are, what are the little topics? Does it say? No, not on this. It should have. Oh, it, it tells you on the back how to do it. Yeah. Too. Okay, guys, look. We look cute. All right, ready? I'm still at the other one in my mouth. What? Mmm. Give me. Yep. Apple. It's like a mix of like red and green apple. Mmm. It's definitely sour. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, it says it's sour? No, it doesn't say it's sour. Mmm. Mm -mm. Wow. These are good. Mm. Yeah, those are super sweet. Mmm. There you go. You can make more later. And then the other one, which is the same thing, but just three of them. Ooh. Yeah, I'll show you all three. It has to be different flavors on here, too. Oh, yeah, most likely. Hey, um, guys, there's three of these. Those are Umambo. The delicious Umaibo? Umaibo. The delicious stick in a popcorn snack with the perfect amount of crunch. Oh, 
Available in many flavors, we have included a few of our favorite for you to try. Okay, wait, there's a green one. So we're avoiding green from now on. <laughs> this might be the matcha one, yeah. so we're not gonna try the green one. We want purple or red? Red. Okay, let's go with the red. I think I know. I think these are like that popcorn looking sticks. Those are really sometimes they're savory. Oh, never mind. I don't know what you're Whoa, talking about. Whoa, never mind. All right, guys, this is how it looks. I thought when I so when, it looks like when I was first filling it, I thought it was gonna be rounded, like you you like almost like a chip. But that when you it's supposed to be sweet. I don't say anything about being sweet. I'm scared. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells it smells savory. It's a corn snack, crunchy. What is it? Okay, so it's not strawberry. It's, right. it's savory. It's not sweet. Mm. It tastes like a, a corn puff. Yeah, I think that's what they say. They're talking about corn puff. But like um, a Cheeto. <clears throat> and the yeah, flavor? Yeah, puff, puff corn snack. Flavor-wise, I can't pinpoint it, but it's good. I thought it was candy. So I was like, I'm scared. You yeah. like it? Yeah. I think the only thing that reminds me of is, it's just... Chips. The um, Cheetos, yeah, the Puffy Cheeto. The Puffy Cheeto? Yeah, there's two words, two different ones. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I'm very impressed with Japan. Why well, does it have a thing in the middle, though? It's like if you want to oh. stick and eat it like a, oh. eat it like a, what is it, like a corn, is it corn? Hot dog, whatever. Whatever the hell you think. Corn dog? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't know what to talk about. I, I don't eat. Okay, also, Weird. guys, I just noticed there is another recipe. It's called dorayaki. How to make mini dorayaki. Don't know what dorayaki is, but we'll put it on the We'll put it down in the, on the description, description below. But look, now we have two recipes. Dorayaki and udon noodles. Oh. Very nice. We'll put both of them in the let's, description. Let's, let's read a few fun facts here from Japan. Japan is home to 110 active volcanoes, of which 47 are closely monitored by scientists every day. Hmm. Ah, guys. In Japan, slurping your noodles is a sign of appreciation and delight. So when eating soba, udon, or ramen, remember to let those baby slides. <laughs> I can already see it. See, for us, that's not an appreciation mm -hmm. sign. That's not disrespect, but that's not, not like, polite. Polite, I guess. Table manners? Don't know how to eat. Table manners. Guys, this is really cool. I like that. I really liked Japan. I love Japan. Flavor wise, besides I like that, it. besides that Wait. weird Kit Kat. Oh, whatever. You just didn't like the Kit Kat. But everything was so good. Everything like, was good. Very flavorful, delicious. You know. I think actually was talking about ramen. Uh, I kind of, kind of want to go for some ramen soup. Ramen soups? Yes. I can only imagine their flavor that they have over there. Oh, mm. it's probably been better than here. Hell yeah. Oh, look, they have Pookie. <gasps> Pookie is so good. Benjamin loves Pookie. My nephew, he loves Pookie. <laughs> All right, let's do the other. All right. Okay, give me the box. We can put everything in the box. Well, we can leave it. No. Just it. We're going to have to use the space. We're going to need put space. It All right. Don't move it around too much because the stuff for the apple thing is open. Guys, then later we go to my mom's so we'll have her taste every single one of them. <laughs> yes. And she hates when I give her a sour candy. She's like, it's sour. You lie to me. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Hope you guys like Japan. Because Japan is awesome. Japan was November. Yeah. And now we have December. December. 
books. Christmas. Let's see what they got us for Christmas. No, let's see what treat we got for Christmas in two days. Mm -hmm. It was nice to get this before the before month is over. Is it? Cut it a little close. Just got here yesterday. It. Yes. Yeah, just got here yesterday. They were cut. They are cutting a little close. But then again, it's understandable, especially with everything that we're going through. Um, and then the high demand of chipping for like. Oh my God! I would not. I would tell you right now. I would not want to work for. Mm. I would not want to work for any services that deliver packages. Yeah. Guys. Ooh. Ready? Because I'm ready. We got Israel. I don't know anything about Israel, so this should be interesting. Me neither. Besides hummus, I love hummus. <laughs> so let's see. Supposedly, there's like a chocolate hummus. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. No, sweet hummus? Ooh, I don't know. Sweet hummus? I have to try it. Interesting. Oh, so I think they're changing the boxes. Yeah. How they're coming. You no, know, or do you want me to do it? No, okay. I can start it off. <gasps> don't, 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 I, this is going to be the first one I'm going to try then, since you're well, ready. I just found out one of the snacks that my niece eats <laughs> is from Israel. And I just... Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, ready? okay. So this is what they've given us now. I don't know if you remember the other ones, but they're not like this. I guess they're doing it better, which I like this yeah. format better of how they are. Um... Giving us some information about the country that we're doing. So again, some facts, a little welcome, and Can you give us some news. Oh, this one says scan for jams. Use our Israeli playlist to get a true aspect of this country musical culture. Oh, Ooh. interesting. No, no recipe. No, no recipes. No. But that's okay. Japan gave us two, so hello. Yeah, no, not every. I don't think every. No, I don't think everyone. Every one does the same thing. Oh my god, this is so cool! I am ready. Okay, sir, go ahead. All right, the first one is gonna be what do you call this? I already know what these are. Bamba, these are Bamba peanut, peanut puffs. butter puffs. So my one-year-old today needs. She loves these. <laughs> like these are so good. I mean, they are good. For kids, because it's made of peanut butter, and they're so easy. They like literally like they melt in their mouth, so it's oh. easy to eat. Oh my god! Okay, so this is a delicious peanut flavor popcorn snack that is highly regarded all over Israel. They melt in your mouth with every bite. Okay, so fun little story about this: when I went to visit my sister in November, she got these at the supermarket, and she was like. Oh, Katie, try this to see if it's soft enough for Amaya to eat. And I was like, okay. Mind you, she just showed me the puff. She was here. And I was like, ooh, a Chico. So I went. And I'm like, yeah, um, that. what flavor is this? She's like, why? I'm like, it tastes like a cheese Cheeto. She's like, oh, it's peanut butter. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Yes. But it literally just... Dissolves it in my dissolve, mouth. Yeah. It's not like bam peanut butter. I just have a slight hint of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And it's gluten free. No GMO ingredients. And no preservatives. And I think it has a good amount of protein. Five grams. Ooh. So this is really a good snack. For those who like to snack around. This is a healthy snack. But yeah, these are so good, and she loves it. She, like, kills it, like, half a bag in, like, one. Like, it's just insane. We have to, like, stop her from eating it. All right. Next one. Um, we have this Bisley. Bisley wheat snack? Barbecue. Um, wheaty snacks with a flavor louder than their crunch. With flavors such as barbecue or smoky, this will take your taste buds on a sesty trip. Oh. Ooh, look, the curl. Ooh, wait. It's like thing. Um, corn something. They're corn chips. Fritos. 
They're you Frito Lays, but the curly ones. Mm. Mm. It tastes like the, the Fritos. Yeah. Oh, Mama's gonna kill these. Watch. <laughs> yeah, but I thank you. Bye. Oh, these are good. Okay. 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 Right. So, the next one we have three, and they're like I'm guessing it's just yeah different flavors. Which one are those? Oodies. Yep. Oodles, not oodies, oodles. Oh, here you go. These are oodles. Mm -hmm. Okay, oodles. These sweet, tiny ball shaped fruit shoes are popular throughout Israel. We're included, we have included a few of our favorite flavors for you to try. So we have blue raspberry, green apple, and teeny tangy fruity shoes mix. Yeah. Oh, do the mix. Okay. Come on, it looks so cute. Look, it has a little I would go with the green apple. Because apple, green apple is one of my favorites. Fine, go. No, no, do those. Do, do those. Let's see if it has a little smart way to open it. Because I put it open to Japan one. I feel like, you know what reminds me of the pops? No. What do you mean? These remind you of nerds. Nerds? Willy Wonka? No, they remind me of the pops. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, the chewable. <laughs> yeah. Mm. If they popped, I would have been just stuck with like the pops. When you throw them out, it's like. Okay, these look like way smaller. <laughs> you dip in your, dip your lollipop in the powder. Those are the ones you're talking about. No. The pops. I don't know the name of them. But like you throw them in your mouth and they stop popping. Yeah, you also dip your lollipop in it and you eat your lollipop. Oh, I've never done that. Is it? No. Or am I mixing it up? I think you're mixing it up. Okay, well. These are good, guys. These are... It's like, it has like all three flavors. It has the apple. Green apple. It has the apple, the blue raspberry, and then I think the other one is like strawberry and mm -hmm. raspberry mix. These are good. Oh, we can probably eat this whole thing in one. In one go. In one bowl. Mm. What I'm noticing is that they put a lot of candy. Not so well, much. Well, this one is even. Two salties. And a whole <laughs> bunch of candy. Find the candy. So I'm. These are the same. So there are five of them. Oh, they're sticking all over my teeth. Mm. All right. So Maybe. those those are what is it? Fluffy toffee. It's called. So there are chewy toffees that come in several different tangy fruity flavors. The intense aroma flavor set these candies apart from them all. So does that have a really strong? Okay. But they all have a strawberry on them. Oh, strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Strawberry flavor. Strawberry flavor. Why do they have different things? No. I don't know. What does it say? Everyone has different flavors? Yeah. That's so interesting. But oh, this one are hard. Wait, give me half of yours. Other than all well, the other ones, but they're still chewable. It says aroma. I don't smell anything. Don't oh, ask me. Does it taste? Nice. That's a pretty good taste. Of what? I can't place it. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> We're chewing our life away. <laughs> um, Those are hard though. I mean, they're still chewable, but they're still pretty hard. You can't put a taste on it. 
It's a very mild flavor. I mean, it's not as tangy. I don't know. It's not bad. Huh. All right. On to the next one. It's an okay candy. Yeah. Well, uh, this one, what's it called? Click Ink Milk Cream. Mm. It's slippery. cream. Okay, I can keep reading. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So we need to chase the other one. Yes. Okay. We need, um, what do you call it? A neutralizer or something <laughs> like that? Where you. A palate cleanser? Yeah, that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Eat a peanut butter. No. I do not like those. <laughs> not a big fan of peanut butter. Okay. You are like all over the place, sir. Yeah. Okay. That one. What's the thing? What is Click that? Click in milk cream. Um, clicking milk, 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 I can't talk. Milk. Milk cream. Um, a sweet crispy bar filled with decayed creamy milk, then coated with a generous layers of white and milk chocolate. Decay. 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 Decadent? Decay. Decay. Decadent. Same thing. Decay. <laughs> I like that. Very chocolatey. Mm hmm It is. It kind of dissolve. Melts. Dissolve. It melts, guys. It dissolve. Ooh, I like these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely more chocolate mm -hmm. than the crunch, which chocolate lovers Hello here. Love that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, and then the final one. What do you have? Mm. Pesek Z Man? Pesek. Oh my god, I'm probably butchering all these yeah, names. Yeah, we probably are, yeah, but we're not Israeli. It doesn't matter. We should try these. Yeah. No um, Bar filled with wafer and hazelnut cream. This popular treat features crisp and airy waffle filled with luscious hay nuts cream, then dipped with milk chocolate. Oh, another milk chocolate one. Mm. Nope, none for you. Excuse me? I just need some water. That one looks delicious. Uh, share. <laughs> share is caring. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that one's one really good. You can definitely taste the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. mm. You're about to devour that, huh? <laughs> what? No. Yeah. Mm, okay. Favorite of the two. Not disappointed us at all. Well, besides though, it's month number four. Besides their freaking delivery time. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's 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 we're in a tough situation here, so at least it gets here before the month is over. Okay, so stop complaining. Be grateful. Yeah, yeah. All right, so guys, this was Israel. Mm. And it was yummy too. From both, From both countries. I gotta give it to Japan. I can go to Japan. Yeah, I gotta give it to Japan. I just, it's just the flavors. Ooh, excuse me. We're like, bam. Yeah. And but that one, you gotta, you kind of like, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Bad. But that one, you really gotta figure out, like, mm, what does it remind you of? While Japan, you pick it up right <laughs> there and then. Yeah, no, these are good. And they were like, 
Like some of them were like, hmm, I wonder what that's gonna taste like. But yeah, these I was like, hmm, that was a mystery one. Like the one that I thought it was sweet, it was actually savory. Can mm-hmm. you put that in the box? Um, but yeah, guys, this was Israel, and this was Japan. And I just saw this. Japan actually does have a recipe. And the recipe is for hummus. Woohoo! Oh. You said Japan. Oh, did I? Yes. Japan has two. Sorry. I don't know if I did sit around, but mm-hmm. Israel has a hummus recipe on the card. We will we'll add those on the description below as well. Mm-hmm. Same for Japan. I will do that too. Oh, it's going to be a long, lengthy It's going to be a lengthy description. But hey. I enjoy them both. They were both really, really good. And like I said, also, they both bring a drink. If you want to, like, if you have the snack box, the snack crate box, you can upgrade and, like, I think it's $5 and you get a drink on your box. Mm -hmm. Um, Which is not bad, but we haven't done it yet. But maybe in the future we will. Where's the card for Japan? Oh, it's on the bottom. bottom. But yeah. So we'll definitely go ahead and give put a description on both of these for the ingredients on them for the oh my god for the recipe, the recipe. and included the ingredients on them and also oh wait we didn't read a fun fact about fun fact Israel about Israel let's see um, oh Israel is the only country in the world that has more trees today than it had fifty years ago. Hmm. Okay, that's good. All right. Pet Lovers in Israel created the first ever U.S. cable channel for dogs. It is scientifically programmed to keep dogs entertained and com- com- comfort. Comfort. What? Conflicted? Oh, my God. I can't read. Entertained and com- com- comforted. Comforted. Wow, they are home alone. Oh, my God. That was horrible, Katie. <laughs> You know how we get like sad that our dogs are alone while we are at work or visiting someone? They actually have a cable channel for dogs and they're supposed to be, you know, feel like they're not alone and, you know, what? entertained. That is insane. That's crazy. That that's, is insane. That's kind of nice though, so they won't feel alone. No. Because dogs do feel alone. So when yeah. you leave them alone in the house and you go out, they're like, great, mommy's gone again. <laughs> and then you come back and you find a mess in your house because they had nothing to do. Nothing to do. Um, entertain themselves. So they did their own little party. <laughs> but yes. So here we go, guys. These are our two boxes, November and December. I hope you guys enjoy these as much as you enjoy the other videos. And I don't know. I guess. I we wonder what the other one's going to be about. No, when it's 2021. But 20. Um, but I can't wait for that. So we are excited for the next year. Yes, definitely. Just gonna, you know, wait for it like any other day. I don't know. A little cheers, maybe, maybe a little prayer. I don't know. But we'll see how things go. But we're excited. Uh we're also excited for the holidays. It's not gonna be a big holiday celebration. It's just gonna be us, family, and my brother, and the kids, and the wife, and then we'll probably do a little Zoom video for my sister, who is in Ohio, so we'll celebrate virtually, and that's, together that's still. That's just the new so, era nowadays. Yes. Just hopefully everything goes back to normal soon, mm-hmm. and we'll be able to have them come here, or we can go travel again. Definitely. Yes. But if you guys have any questions or any comments, just leave them down in the comment box below and we'll just answer them as soon as possible. Yes, definitely. And once again, you do get a discount, a 50% discount on your first box. So it's like $7 for a box for you to try. And after that is $13, $14 a box. So, wait, yes, 13, 13 or $14 a box, depending on which one you want to upgrade. You can get just sweet or you can get just savory or you can get both sweet and savory which we get or you can get a whole big box depending if you want to share with your family how big your family is they can give you a bigger box which is a little more funny but it's not bad it's very good i love it i'm enjoying it he's enjoying it yes 
we're all enjoying it this is a little treat every day um but yeah so let us know of course as well any comments any questions below for us to answer for you guys and hope you guys stick around for more and we'll see you soon in the next year, yeah, next year. so happy holidays to all be safe, stay home, protect yourself, and enjoy it as much as you can. And that is all. That is all. See you guys till next year. Peace Bye. Out.